Hey guys, Nick here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally talk about. It is going to be comparing Halo 5's music to the other games in the franchise. The reason I'm doing this is because the other day I came across some Halo 5 music that was uploaded on YouTube. The stuff you hear in the background right now is called Trials. It is a new Halo 5 song that has been uh, released recently, and someone managed to you know get it uploaded, and uh, I listened to it. I don't know about you, but if you ever listen to a song that like evoke something inside of you and uh, it gives you like goosebumps or tingles or something like that. I got the biggest goosebumps I have ever gotten from any music that I have listened to or yeah just ever. It, it was insane how much my hair stood up while listening to this and it wasn't because you know if you ever hear like a nail on a whiteboard or something like that it wasn't because it sounded terrible it like it just made me feel something that I, I couldn't explain, it was just really strange to me and I just really loved the sound of it so I thought why don't I show this to my subscribers and whoever watches this video and see what their opinions are on the different Halo music. Obviously Marty O'Donnell, he composed Halo 1, 2, 3 and ODST and uh, Reach and uh, everyone adores his music. He is like thought of as the god of composing music and video games which I completely agree with he is absolutely fantastic and if you listen to Destiny's music uh, well most of it anyway he did the most of it if not all of it and it sounds absolutely you know breathtaking it is amazing music but a lot of people seem to be against Halo 4 and uh, you know other games that aren't Marty's work if you know what I mean uh, so Neil Davidge he did Halo 4's music and you know I'll admit wasn't as good as the other Halo games. It wasn't because Neil Davidge isn't a good composer. He is very talented. But there was something special about uh, Marty O'Donnell's music. It had that epic kind of feel to it. It's like this is a massive, really important battle that we're going to commence and do here. So, you know, it, it needs to sound big and epic. And Marty O'Donnell really captured that perfectly, in my opinion. And uh, Neil, Neil David, he did a great job, but it, there was just something that seemed to be missing from his work in Halo 4. Uh, I still really enjoyed it, it just wasn't the same. But for Halo 5, they have someone called Kazuma Junuchi. Uh, don't slaughter me in the comments if I completely slaughtered that name, I probably did. But uh, he is doing Halo 5's music, and uh, if you didn't watch, there was a uh, new sprint uploaded on the Halo YouTube channel, which is basically uh, like their documentary series of the process of making Halo 5. So the one called Composer, or The Composer, uh, they uploaded that, and it was basically all about the music and the sound in Halo 5, and at the very end, they showed a segment of uh, you know one of the songs in Halo 5. And while I was watching and listening to that, Everything else just didn't seem important to me. It, it, nothing else was like, I just couldn't think of anything else except just focusing on the music. And I don't know how that sounds to some of you, but to me that screams fantastic, just emotional music. It just screams that this is music that is all encompassing, like it really just takes your breath away. Almost to the point where you can't even function, you can't even think of anything else. And I never felt that with Marty O'Donnell. I never, I never was playing Halo 3 and just stood and just listened to the music. Yes, I appreciated it. Yes, I really enjoyed it. But with this new music, there's just the way it builds up and then just, you know, accumulates into some massive finish and then, you know, slowly rises up again. It just, it just fits. It just works perfectly, in my opinion, for a Halo game. Uh, so I'm going to play that segment at the end, or uh, a little bit of that segment at the end of that sprint episode now for you to listen to, and then I'll talk to you afterwards.
So hopefully you enjoyed that nearly as much as I did. If you didn't get goosebumps or you didn't feel anything from that, then you mustn't be a human being. But, you know, if you didn't enjoy it, then it's your opinion, I suppose. But for me personally, I absolutely adore that. And if you happen to miss that sprint episode, I will leave a link to it in the description or an uh, annotation on the screen for you to go check it out. I recommend you do. And I recommend you watch all the other sprint episodes as well. Because if you're a massive Halo fan and you're very interested in how the game's being made or the process of how video games are made in general, it is definitely a great insight into, you know, that realm of things. So... I definitely do recommend them a lot. But the actual point in this video was not me sort of being like, oh, all the other Halo games sucked and Halo 5 is going to be the best. I'm not being like that at all. All the Halo games, they all have something special. If it's not the music, it's the gameplay. If it's not the gameplay, it's the campaign. If it's not the campaign, then it's something else. You know what I mean? Every, every single Halo game has something special to it. Uh, whether you hate the game in general or not, every game has something to it that makes it unique, which is why Halo is so great in my opinion. Halo 5, I am pretty confident it will have a pretty damn round circle of things that make it great. It's going to be campaign, will hopefully be amazing. Multiplayer, looks like it's going to be fantastic. And the sound of it, the whole video, this whole video was dedicated to how great I think the sound will be. So, I think it's going to be an absolutely fantastic game. I cannot wait for it to come out. It is the 10th of, or no, the 11th of uh, October as of making this video. So, you know, it's only 16 days away. 16 is nothing. That is actually nothing at all when you think about life in general. So, I am hyped. I am super excited. I want you guys to leave a comment down below what your favourite Halo music in any of the games is. You know, it might be, might be ODST it, because, you know, that's you know that's very different from the other games. It might be Reach, might be Halo 3, might be Halo 1, it might be whatever. Leave a comment down below letting me know because I'd be very interested to hear what your thoughts are. I can't say Halo 5 is my favourite yet, uh, but it's definitely my favourite from what I've heard so far. Uh, but if I had to say one uh, that is my favourite that the game was actually released, it would be Halo 3. So hopefully Halo 5 can give it a good run for its money. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed making this. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, then let me know. Leave a like or something. And yeah, thanks for watching.